How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Manti Gaming. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some cool stuff with you guys. Well, hopefully you think it's cool anyway. Um, normally I do share like uh, the cool investment stuff that I think of um, in our Discord server, but I decided to go ahead and make a video about this one. So in today's video, I'm going to be using 76 of these treasure hunter keys on the new Easter event and also showing you some really cool things about the Easter event. Um, they'll probably make you pretty excited to jump in on it. So let's go ahead and start with um, what you can look at for investments and how you can make some big money on this one. And then we will jump into some treasure hunter keys. So let's go. Okay, so looking at the treasure hunter event itself, um, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna pull up the treasure hunter event literally itself. So if we go to the treasure hunter, um, as you can see, I've got these nice uh, guaranteed uh, red eggs lined up for our opening, which is pretty cool. I probably should have like waited. I actually had 120 keys and I've blown through like 50 of them because I, re I got really excited about the event. Um, but it's okay though. Uh, we will start off our uh, egg opening with um, all the red ones, but let's take a look at what you can get here. When you look at the rewards, this is where it gets Pretty exciting we see like the previous cottontail night um stuff coming back which is cool um but these aren't really that expensive uh you know it's not that rare they're, they're a red rarity which um usually doesn't end up being too expensive um something else we can look at in this event is we can look at the cosmetics that you can get which um i'll be honest with you i'm not really a big fan of this the reason why i'm not is because that means you basically have to buy keys in order to get these and that's either with uh, buying in-game bonds or spending real money i'm not really a big fan of them locking it because right now looking at the wiki and everything looking at this this is the only way you can unlock this stuff which is unfortunate if you want to get this egg smasher hammer which i'm not even sure is that cool i don't know it's it's interesting but it's just kind of a bummer you have to only get this from this but what we're going to be really paying attention to today guys is going to be these purple rarity rewards um so we've got the woodland fox ears which is an ultra rare limited time tradable reward ah um i haven't seen any confirmation yet uh that this is going to be um a rare so i'm assuming that this will come back in the game again so that's let's just go ahead and leave with that assumption right there um if anyone sees anything can confirming it'll be a rare like not coming back then we'll add that in the comments but as far as i know right now these will all be coming back uh but we don't know when probably not tomorrow <laughs> just kidding it lasts for six days uh jokes okay well so woodland fox ears we've also got the woodland fox tail and then we've got this peep the chick token. So these are all three things are going to be exclusive for, exclusively from this event uh, so far. And they're the things we really want to pay attention to. So in order to really hit this home and show you guys how cool these items are, I need to bring up the RuneScape wiki in order to show you some really useful information. Okay, so welcome to the wiki page. I need to show you this first. And the reason why is because that way you'll understand why this is so cool and why it's actually a really good investment opportunity. Um, so just a, just a, like a little warning here. Okay, not really warning, but I just wanna be, I just wanna be very clear and honest with you is that I am investing in some of these items. So me making this video, I'm not really trying to make you guys buy it. I just wanna, I'm just really excited about the thing. So um, everyone always asks me to share the things that I get excited about for investments and stuff. So I'm just sharing them with, uh, yeah, just trying to educate you. Uh, I'm not saying to go buy these. I am buying them. Just wanna be very clear, I'm not trying to hide anything. I know how sometimes people be like, he's just trying to make the prices rise. Nope, uh, they're gonna rise on their own. I don't, I don't actually need your help for that. They're gonna do it on themselves, so <laughs> don't worry. Coming down here, uh, we're gonna look at the prizes for the egg hunt. And as you can see, we've got all different prizes for the egg hunt right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see each of them by like rarity and stuff like that. The only ones we really need to pay attention to are going to be the purple ones. So these purple ones at the very top, um, you see these chances. These chances are with chance of getting them out of a small egg. So it is a 0.02% chance of getting the woodland fox ears and a 0.04% chance of getting the woodland fox tail. And then peep is going to be 0 0.06. So extremely, extremely rare to pull one of these. Um, so in, in, in other words, if you looked at this chance right here, you could probably buy, because right now Jagex is doing a promo where if you buy 150 keys, then you get 150 keys for free, which gives you 300 keys. Um, but by looking at these percent, these chances here and everything like that, um, you could probably easily go through 300 keys and not even get one of these. Uh, just to like, just to show you um, briefly is, actually I'll, I'll, just show, I'll have to bring it up in just a second, but um, I have one of my alts, they got really lucky where it logged in and I was able to get guaranteed purple eggs. That was amazing. I was like, holy cow, I'm about to get some Fox stuff. It had like, 
like, I think it was like eight eggs. So I went into the oddments and I bought some keys with oddments and then uh, cracked open all eight eggs and never saw any of these three. <laughs> so even when it, even when it guarantees purple rewards, you're still not guaranteed to get these. Like, uh, and it seems even, it seems incredibly rare even with that. So let's keep that in mind for just a second, the rarities of these things, okay? Now let's look at the Hall of Fame Walk Override token. So this is something that just recently came out. Um, it, it like just went away. Uh, it was the most it was the most recent thing besides this egg stuff that was people were really excited about. So this is the token you get and then unlocks the Walk of Fame. We're gonna look at the Vault of Riches promo, which is where it came out of. And then we look at the Crystal Chest. These chests are basically the following table is the rewards possible when a diamond chest is open. The diamond chest is a 4% chance to hear, uh, sorry, chance to appear and requires 25 keys to open. So um, you can't even access this stuff unless uh, the diamond chance of the diamond chest appears. And then when it does, basically, you have like a chance of getting um, these things that are in this chest. Also, too, when you look up here, you look at click on rarity. We're going to bring the rarity down here. And we'll look at these purple things right here. See these chances of getting these things. OK, that has the same setup as we look at the egg hunt. So if I look at this. When this diamond chest appears, okay, I have a 3.32% chance of getting the Hall of Fame override walk token. Even if I was to sit here and be like, okay, I understand that there's a higher chance here, but you have to wait for the diamond chest to appear and stuff like that. This is still massively higher chance of getting this or getting this or something like that than it is to get this egg hunt Woodland Foxy or Woodland Foxtail peep the chick token. Um, I don't know, and I'm just going to be honest with you, I don't know what the chances are of you getting that guaranteed purple egg thing, but I would willing, be willing to guess it's extremely rare to get the guaranteed purple egg thing. Um, people in the Discord have already said that they did crack open like three to 600 keys and never even saw that, and they also didn't get one of these. So I do know that they're extremely rare. Um, so the Hall of Fame over override walk token, the reason why I wanted to bring this one up is because the current price for Holloway. Okay, so actually, I don't know the exact right current price right this second. And that's actually not relevant. I don't need to know that. But during the promo, when the promo was about to end, people were paying like 1.5 to 2 billion for this Walk of Fame, um, the, the Walk Override token. They were paying like 1.5 to 2 billion gold to get this. And it had this much of a chance. Um, it's literally a hundred times if you if you take this times a hundred it's two percent this is 3.32 percent it is so much easier to get this hall of fame i'm now obviously this have to open okay okay i'm beating i'm beating a dead horse there you get the idea it's super rare these emerald cane and the ruby cane are actually harder to get but these these chests pop up more often um so looking back here now Am I saying that it's guaranteed for this, for these like Fox things to go to that price? No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is this. We look at the current price of the Woodland Fox tail, Woodland Fox ears and peep the chick token. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you the current prices and you tell me if it makes any sense where they're currently at. Okay, so we are back over at my GE and you can see the current prices and you'll see why I'm so excited. <laughs> so Woodland Fox tail, 21 million um okay uh woodland fox ears 141 million okay that's that's more realistic and then we've got peep the chick token let's keep in mind that this is a token guys so once people buy this and they claim it it's gone so these these two right here unlike the walk of fame which when you buy it and you claim it it's gone these woodland fox ears and tails can be resold so in in, in essence they will not be as expensive as the walk you should not expect them to be even though they potentially are more rare than the walk they they are not going to be as expensive because these are never being removed from the game unless people keepsake them and even then they're not really removed from the game um but the tokens are removed from the game so peep the chick token was a 0 0.06 percent which is potentially more rare than the walk again um 12.2 million each is how much i am buying them for so 12.2 guys the freaking ge mid is 12 million 12 million uh, i bought one earlier for 11 million it's definitely possible um why do, okay, <laughs> let me let me explain another reason why this is so ridiculous. Why this price is so low? Okay, if I go to a bond, if people want to buy a bond to buy keys in order to try to get these items, 
A bond is 52 million nearly. It's nearly 52 million for a bond, which means that to get a token, you would have to spend at least 52 million. So why a token would ever be less than the price of a bond, especially with the rarity, does not make any sense to me at all. The Woodland Foxtail is less than half of the price of a bond. The ears are less than three bonds. So that is the reason why I'm really excited about this, is that going by just simple math, it doesn't even make any sense why these would stay so low. And pretty much every pet token that has ever come out from a Treasure Hunter event has skyrocketed toward the end of the event. That's that's just something that is just kind of well known for every Treasure Hunter event, is that when they, when they get close to ending, they just skyrocket. Now, a potential reason why they are so low right now is because, like I said, Jagex is doing a promo where if you buy 150 keys, then you get 150 keys for free. Um, if we look at the price of that though, that ends up being about 45 USD that you'd have to spend to get 300 keys. Um, maybe you'll get a tail or maybe you'll get a ear uh, or an ear, sorry. Um, or maybe you'll get one token or maybe you'll get a token and a tail. It, does that seem worth $45 to you? No, no, it's not worth $45 to you, especially when $7 buys you a bond and gives you 52 million gold. So you could you could spend $7 and get more money than this tail and the, to the token is worth. I think I made my point pretty clear. It doesn't make any sense why these are so cheap. Um, Woodland Fox Ears potentially does make a little bit more sense at 141 million, um, but even that I feel like is too low. So one last thing I want to mention too about these items is as you can see the Woodland Fox Tail, I was buying them at 21 million. You can you can sell them at 24.1 million, and the Woodland Fox Ears I was pretty easily buying them at 135, and then pretty easily selling them right back at 141.4. So they have an awesome flip margin if you're just interested in flipping. You can flip two of these at a time, so that's like a six million uh, profit each. That is 12 million in one slot that you can flip right now. Okay guys, let's go ahead and jump into some uh, some Easter egg opening because I wanna make sure this video is not 12 hours long, but I really do appreciate you guys being, uh, you know, watching this content and stuff like that. I'm literally just making these videos to try to help you guys out. Try to, you know, even even if you don't buy into this kind of stuff, like this uh, Easter egg token stuff like that, which I totally get, um, you don't have to, I am, you don't need to, uh, then at least you will learn like how to look for good deals in a treasure hunter. And then when you see one that you do feel strongly about, then you'll be able to, you know, kind of use like the things I'm showing you uh, to see how it makes sense. Previously, bonds used to be like, you know, 9 million, 12 million, stuff like that. And so if I if a bond was 12 million, I, and then I, I would look at the ears and be like, oh, okay, you know, that price makes sense. But when a bond is 52 million, it doesn't make any sense. Um, let's go and do the treasure hunter, boys. All right, so we've got treasure. I really wish you could drag this down. I don't know why you can't drag it down. But let's go ahead and crack this open. I do have a guaranteed red rarity on my eggs right now. And basically the way this works is you have to open up these middle bonus eggs, which you can only open if you open up these other side ones, Fortnite style, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then you'll be able to slowly get to this cosmetic. And uh, the cosmetic is incredibly ugly. Uh, I'll just be honest with you. Jagex, I don't, I, I, I know they're trying to keep the immersion and trying to keep like the stuff like, you know, according to the times and everything, but good lord, that is ugly. All right, let's go ahead and open up these keys though. We got huge prismatic fallen star. I just wanna to mention too quickly the fact that um, you don't get multiple choices, which really sucks. I really wish you got multiple choices. Also, the XP that I'm choosing to put this into might be different than the XP you choose to put it into. Um, I just simply choose the stuff I am because I have a lot of skills that are 200 million, so I couldn't put it into a better skill. Obviously, the lamps, the direct lamps would be better for like rune crafting, but I've already got enough bonus to give me a 200 million, so why would I do that? All right, we're gonna go into this right here. So yeah, I should probably tell you what's going into. Most of my stars and everything are going into Dungeoneering because I don't have that maxed out yet. But I'm just gonna be opening up uh, the remainder of these keys right here because I want to be able to get towards that cosmetic. Uh, we're gonna bank this, we're gonna bank these. I can't actually choose between the things, which really sucks. Okay, so Silver Hawk Feathers, by the way, I don't take those, I go to Oddments because that's like buying Oddments and I I would definitely buy Oddments because I want that, I want the stars and I want the lamps, I don't want Hawks because you can just buy Hawks on your own. You don't really get as much value. I would highly recommend you don't take Hawks when they pop up. Heck yeah, there we go. Okay, we got the, we, we got the cosmetic override. We also got the next guaranteed eight red eggs, which is nice. I have seen this a few times, and I've only seen that purple one one time. So yeah, remaining pretty rare here. Uh, oh, there we go. We'll be able to get the Egg Smasher. Honestly, I just really want to get the Egg Smasher. That's really all I care about. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and claim this huge prismatic. We're gonna put the prismatic star. 103,000, by the way, for dungeoning on those huge prismatics, which is really nice. 123K if it's a uh, star, which is also really cool. Prismatic lamp again, prismatic star again. Uh, large cash bag, we're definitely gonna cash that out because the oddments have more value, honestly. 
All right, boom. There we go. Now we got guaranteed orange, which is not terrible. Large dungeoning box. Um, I will take it because I actually want tokens. Uh, 18,000 tokens. Okay, you know, that's probably not worth it. We'll, we'll cash for oddments next time. Uh, grab those oddments, obviously. <laughs> Let me cash out the oddments for oddments, right? Uh, we're going to do some more of that. We're going to take these oddments again, which is nice. We're going to get rid of these combat dummies because they're terrible. Don't ever take those. Uh, claim these. And then we're going to go here and boom. Oh, yeah. Red ones again. Uh, the reason why I don't take dummies, by the way, is because the XP is incredibly terrible. Uh, like, yeah, unless you have a very specific reason why you'd want to do that, I highly recommend you do not do that. Um, it's actually better just for you to go to kill nearly anything in the game. <laughs> it's going to be faster than those dummies are. Even on double XP, they're still not good. All right. Here we go. There we go. We have a guaranteed three bonus, and I did get the cosmetic egg smasher ham hammer. So let's see if there's anything after that. No, I am just guaranteed the smoldering. So honestly, I'm probably just going to go ahead and stop there. Uh, we did see quite a bit of the chances. Uh, and let me bring up the other account really quickly that I did open up all the purple ones on, and I'll show you like kind of like what I got from that real quick. Okay, so obviously I already opened these keys. Um, like I said, I was just way too excited. I am human, um, but I can definitely tell you what I got. So my first purple was a giant prismatic star. Next purple was a giant prismatic lamp. Next one was, uh, that was lamp. Next one was a giant prismatic star. Then I got another lamp. Then I got another star. And yeah, that was pretty much it, I think. Um, I think the only thing before that were also just stars and lamps. Um, so I really only got stars and lamps. That's like the only thing I got when I got all of my purples. Uh, and I believe it gave me eight purples altogether. So even with all that, um, I didn't get anything. These peep the chick tokens, I actually bought them myself. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway. Um, also, as you can see in my inventory right here, I am going to be coming up with a new farming video that's going to be coming out pretty soon. I'm basically just working on making the most profitable farming video that I can and then showing you guys how to make some big money with farming. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching this content. If you watch this entire video, then you are a champion. Uh, let me know if you're looking forward to the farming content, the content in the in the comments down below. And if you'd like to support the channel and make yourself 3 billion gold or more per month, then check out the Patreon down below and join our Discord. We got 13,000 people in it and you are not one of them, or maybe you are. And if you are, you're my best friend. All right, see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.